Hello, in this tutorial, we'll show you how to use the new reverse pushback feature in GSX Pro, which allows you to create more realistic pushback procedures, even where there's limited available space for maneuver. Here we are at FS Dream Team Chicago O'Hare Airport, Terminal L, Gate 1. This parking position doesn't have much space, and it's a good example of how the ability to pull with GSX will help us to place the airplane exactly where we need, in the shortest amount of time possible. Let's add a new custom pushback slot now, using the GSX Parking Customization page. Click the Add Slot button to add a new custom pushback slot for this parking position and give it a meaningful name to easily recognize this procedure later. Now click Customize to enter the pushback editor. When the pushback editor starts, the editing cursor starts by selecting the airplane shape. The editing cursor can be moved using the arrows keys, and if the Shift key is kept pressed at the same time, the cursor will move faster. As you move the cursor around, you can see green arrows showing the path, offering a preview of the procedure. This path is a faithful representation of how the curve will look like during the actual pushback, because it uses the same calculations, and it considers both the airplane and the tow truck wheel's distances, and whether the tug uses a tow bar or not. Let's say we want the pushback to end here, just outside gate L20. Using the drone camera view, we can easily perfect our alignment with the scenery ground lines, which is way easier to do when the view can be freely rotated on the actual 3D scenery. This is also useful to better check for obstructions. Here, we can see we'll have a problem. The path is not a nice and smooth curve, and when it's interrupted like that, it means it's not possible to calculate a good pushback, given all the constraints of the airplane and tug system, and end up in the position we wanted. We surely need an extra waypoint to control the path more precisely. Let's add one by pressing F6. F6 is used to insert a waypoint before the currently selected one. Since we just started, there are no waypoints yet, so the currently selected waypoint is the airplane end position marker, which represents the end of the pushback. Pressing F6 will insert a new waypoint before, which in this case means between the end and the start of the pushback. The initial position of the new waypoint will be halfway between the previous and next waypoints, but we can move it in the same way as all the other waypoint cursors. When placing a custom waypoint, the most important thing that affects the path is the waypoint heading. It's usually easier to set an initial heading with F7 and F8 to quickly get closer to the desired result and eventually fine-tune it with the one and three keys of the numeric keypad to make finer adjustments. The biggest change in this GSX update is the editor will automatically detect when the path must inverse the direction and start pulling by judging the relative headings of the waypoints of each section. While in previous versions, this would result in the tug making U-turn around the airplane front gear, possibly turning even the whole airplane around. Now that pulling is supported, it will be automatically enabled when needed with your placement of the waypoints controlling the final result. Pull sections are clearly indicated by the arrow's direction and their color being changed from green to red. What was a tricky pushback in the previous version can now be resolved with just a single waypoint and a shorter pushback time. Let's try our new pushback procedure by pressing the Enter key, which will save the pushback slot for this parking position. Remember, there's no practical limit on the number of pushback slots available you can have as many saved procedures for each gate. Some of the best airport profiles made by the community of GSX profile creators have several hundred custom pushback slots for the bigger airports. Now it's time to test it. Let's call for pushback normally. We'll use a bit of time acceleration in the sim now. As you can see, the GSX pushback menu will show our new custom pushback slot with the name we chose before to make it easier to recognize it. Note that since this kind of pushback is likely the only one possible at this position, we might have refined our work by removing the default left and right slots, so they won't be selected by accident. Now we have reached the turning point where the pushback tug will invert its direction and the driving seat of this tow barless tug is rotating to make it easier for the driver to see the road ahead when going in reverse. At the end of the pushback, the driver's seat will rotate again in its original position.
At the end of the pushback, the driver's seat will rotate again in its original position. Set parking brake. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. By using a combination of push and pull, we reached the position we wanted, using a shorter route compared to what was required before. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. Please disconnect. Unlocking gear. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Left is clear. Right is clear. This was a simple example, but we can't wait to see what our community of profile creators can do with this new feature. The reverse pushback feature, it's a free update for all users, and it is available for all GSX versions. GSX Pro for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and the classic GSX for FSX and P3D. Bells are ringing, snow is falling, hearts are singing, but there's one thing on my flight sim wish list that I can't resist. Oh.